Mm -hmm. And look and invest in looking and attending to those free events. And if it's something you just don't want to go to, I mean, you can be at home and just log onto your computer and join those those events as well, just to gain some better knowledge. That way you're not always trusting someone else. Something you could be doing today, you now, 10 years later, feel like, oh, I wish I would have done that. So we're telling you now to just go ahead and just take the initiative to educate yourself when it comes to financial literacy. Definitely, definitely. And please start in when you get your first credit card, mm -hmm. whether it's 18 when I went, I was in college and I went to my um, mailbox, there was a credit card in it. Called the number, it was activated. And that's how I started the messing up of my credit <laughs> as, as early. I didn't understand it. So if you're a teenager and you're getting your first credit cards, please understand that money has to be paid back in a timely manner. And start building your credit through there. You can literally start building your credit at 18, whether it's for the good or for, uh, for it to be a really bad credit score, but you can really start that early. I was just going to jump off with what you just mentioned earlier, how you just messed up your credit with all the credit, you know, credit cards that you were um, having. I think everyone experienced that from those who never had the knowledge or education about financial literacy. So for me, when I was paying my way through undergrad, you know, of course, I have financial aid. I was taking all the, you know, you get credit cards. Um, I think it's what Discover, credit card, all these credit cards that come your way. I was actually using that to pay my way through school, not realizing how much it's going to affect me in the long run. So like looking at the APR, like all of that stuff I, or the interest rate, I did not know anything about that. I learned when I had to start paying stuff back, like why is this costing me so much more than what I actually spent? So that's when I really started to, to learn. And that was that happened in my early 20s. But when I wanted to get my car, that, I knew I needed a co-signer. And that's when I also found out about credit. So it was like, okay. So my grandfather helped me get my first car because they had all the credit cards to pay through college. And then once I learned, I was like, I don't want no credit cards. I don't want no loans. I want to be able to pay for it out of my pocket. And that's I've been like that forever. But I also know the importance of having line of credit too. I'm going to give you all really, it's, this is easy and this happens all the time. When you get the APR or the percentage rate on your credit card, Mm -hmm. or your car, or your house, let's say a $100 pair of shoes, you buy a $100 pair of shoes, and you don't pay it off in the first 30 days, if your interest rate is, and a lot of them you're going to start out 19.9, which is ridiculous, by the way, it's extremely high, to go up as high as 35%. So yeah. if this, let's say it's a 30% credit card, now you're paying back $130. Now let's say you pay $20 back. Now it's 30% on that $80. So please, if you have a credit card, pay off if you can. Like there's things that come up, something a motor goes out, tires on your car, like big purchases, completely understandable. But if you're mm -hmm. paying for food, gas, utilities, things of that nature, pay them off as quickly as possible. And that's also how your credit score goes up because that $500 card will become a $1,000 card, which will become a $3,000 card. I actually had that happen. I had a card started. 250 right now is at 6,000. Yeah. But it's just paying it off. So just understand, I didn't I did not know what that meant. I got my first credit card. It was like 21.99. I had no idea what that meant. Start spending, spending, spending. I'm like, "Why do I owe 25% more <laughs> than what I just spent on this card?" I didn't understand. I know, and they don't teach you. And you just nope. when you're thrown out in life, then you start learning and understanding and researching. And thank God we have internet today because that's where a lot of people get their information and understand things a little bit more faster. But yeah, that's absolutely, absolutely right. You start swiping that credit card and you get that bill and you're like, hold on, wait, I didn't budget for this. And that's when you start learning. It is not free money, trust us. It's not. It's I learned not. the hard way, so trust me, it's not free money. It's and not. when they, they want a co-signer for your apartment, they want a co-signer for your car, your credit is not good. That's crazy. When I was that young, I didn't even need a co-signer for my apartment. But for some reason, when I went to go get a car, I needed one. Maybe because it was my first car and I really didn't have credit. I mean, it really just had maybe one, two credit cards. So mm -hmm. maybe that's why, too. And I think I had a phone. So I think I was, at the time, building my credit. So having no credit is just as bad as having bad credit. So It really is. It really, really is. 
So that's all the time we have for today. Toya, let us know some things that you have coming up. Yes, so we are finally gonna have the resume course out there going live at the end. I'm sorry, at the beginning of July. I do not have that lunch date, but it is gonna be somewhere in the beginning of July. So you're gonna start seeing a lot of advertisements coming out in May and June for those who are interested in becoming resume writers. And I will um, possibly put out there like a waiting list for those um, who's ready to enroll into that course. Um, it is a self-paced course. Um, and once you complete the exam, then you will become a professional resume writer. And you can also contract through Global Placement Services to actually do resumes as a side. Okay. All right. Where can we find you at? Um, on all social media platforms, global underscore placement underscore service. You can also email me at info at global placement service. No S on the end dot com. Perfect. Thank you so much. And as always, see you next time. All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye.